welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 4.40 and today we are going to solve three questions which are related to the variance of a random variable okay so we are going to solve question 4.40 41 and 42 and the underlying concepts in all of these is that here we have to find variance uh, similarly here also we have to find the standard deviation which is the square root of the variance and similarly using the the results of exercise 4.21 here as well we have to find the variance as well okay so in all of these questions we have to find the variance and the strategy in all of them will be the same here we have to find what in order to find the variance of any random variable okay we have to do what we have to find the expected value of it which is what in continuous random variables these are x f of x d of x okay and let me call it mu okay after finding out the mu we find the expected value of x minus mu square okay and this is what this would be x minus mu square as well because here we can see that we have replaced this x with this x minus mu while others will remain the same and here it would be f of x d of x as well and so it would be what it would be the sigma square of x and this is what this is the variance and in order to find the standard deviation or sigma we have to do what we have to take the square root of this sigma okay so this is for the conventional random variables now if we have some other random variable just like here g of x how can we find out the mean and variance for all of them as well we can find out the expected value of any other value here as well so this would be what here we have to do what just uh, instead of x we have to write here the g of x okay so just like here if you want to find out the expected value of g of x how would it be it would be g of x while the original density function will remain the same and here it would be d of x and let me call it mu g of x okay similarly now if i want to find the variance of it it would be what it would be g of x minus mu g of x square okay and now replacing this g of x with the new value which is g of x minus mu whole square uh, let me make it more clear so it would be ex expected value of the g of x minus mu of g of x okay and also the square of it okay so how it would be replacing this one with the new value which is g of x minus mu g of x okay and square of it and with it f of x okay and d of x okay so this would be what this would be the sigma square g of x which is what which is the variance of the g of x okay and in order to find the standard deviation of it uh, we can use the square root which would be g of x whole square so from it we will get sigma g of x okay so this is what this is the strategy we are going to follow here and in all of these questions we will follow this strategy okay this is for the conventional random variables while once we will transform any specific random variables to any other value just like g of x and here what has happened we have transformed x into g of x and these are all the values given here okay we can see that these are all the values okay so in all of them the uh, strategy will remain the same which is now here 